Hi everyone, it's Melissa and welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts in video 5 of 7 of my Subscriber Appreciation Week series. I am currently learning the new camera, so we are back in action. I cannot wait to share with you this farmhouse themed Mother's Day DIY gift basket. I think this turned out so adorable. But if you are new to this Subscriber Appreciation Week series, I am celebrating all of you by creating seven days of giveaways. Uh, like I said, I'm giving away seven DIY Mother's Day gift baskets. If you would like to be eligible to enter the giveaway, you must be a subscriber, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below. I'm also sharing with you how I created these DIYs for some crafty inspiration as well, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to start with what I'm including in the baskets. I have a farmhouse themed flannel tablecloth, a buffalo check apron, that was $1.99, both of those are from the 99 cent store, a two pack of bar mop cloths, another two pack of kitchen cloths, and then I'm including three of these kitchen utensils as well. A four pack of these farmhouse themed coasters. Such cute little sayings on those. And then I was obsessed with the entire stationary line of these farmhouse items that they came out with really actually recently at the Dollar Tree. So I'm including all of these uh, with the gift basket. The Moo one is so cute it opens up like a book. That one is a home spiral notepad. This one is my all-time favorite with the Farm Fresh, and it has the pig on the front, and then it has a magnetic opening. But I swear this is the cutest thing that I've ever seen Dollar Tree carry. I am obsessed with it. And then this pen was also adorable. It had the matching wood and buffalo check with the notepad. And then this one has a hole at the top if you wanted to tie some string through there or tie a bow, um, connect it to something. But it says enjoy the little things. Super cute. This homemade uh, tea light candle holder, very farmhouse uh, kind of black. And then two of these uh, white candles that reminded me of almost like milk glass. A four pack container of these little storage containers. This fresh farm magnet has a cow, a pig, and the rooster, and really nice size magnets. This is really heavy duty, good quality. This one is a pan shape. It says the kitchen is the heart of the home. And then I wanted to use the black and white polka dot burlap ribbon. And for the basket, I'm using this uh, planter from the Dollar Tree. I like how it kind of had the galvanized look on it. So this was originally, I believe this is $2.99. I got it for $1.50 at the 50% off sale at the 99 cent store. But it has all of the alphabet letters. And I wanted to use those to write out the Happy Mother's Day sign. And shout out to Miss Jerry Ann Henson for uh, giving me the update on the 50% off sale at the 99 cent store. She is amazing. I absolutely adore her. If you guys have not seen her channel, I will link her in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the tallest items first. I'm putting the tablecloth, the apron. I'm going to remove the tags from the utensils and place those inside. I'm then going to add my sign. The sign kind of pushed the apron and the, and the tablecloth down, so I just kind of repuffed those up and fanned them out. I'm going to use these containers to fill up that empty space at the bottom, and that way anything that I put inside or on top will be lifted. I'm going to take these bar mop towels and fold them and put one on each side of the container. Um, I love these containers. These are actually like the smaller size of the large size Dollar Tree usually carries, but these would be just perfect for organizing any of your kitchen cabinets or drawers or seasonings or anything you wanted to stick in there. So then I'm going to start placing these stationary items and fanning those out to just kind of make them look nice. Of course, I'm going to put the Farm Fresh Pig right in the center. I want him to be front row <laughs> because he's so cute and then I'm going to take my coasters and put those to lean up against the stationery to hold it in place. I'm putting one of the white candles on each side and then the black one right in the center and then I'm going to add my kitchen magnets and then I'm just going to hide in the extra uh, alphabet letters from the sign in the back there and then I thought it would be really cute um oh wait 
I might, you'll see the label in just a second. Let me, let me get there in one second. Um, but then I wanted to make a bow, so I'm just going to fold some ribbon in half, hot glue it together, and then pinch the centers. And then take another piece of this ribbon to wrap around the middle. And then kind of fluff out the sides. Originally I wanted the bow to be the size, but once I kind of held it up, it just kind of looked out of proportion with the size of the basket. So I ended up making it bigger by doing the same thing. I just folded some ribbon into itself and then hot glued that on the bottom underneath. And then just fluffed them out. And then used just a little dot of hot glue to attach it to the top of the sign. And then as I was trying to say before, I thought these uh, kind of farmhouse chalk mini chalkboard planter labels would be really cute as a gift label. So I removed the larger one from the kind of little stake that it was on and then I'm using a smaller one to clip it onto the front. And then I'm going to include the chalk with the little clipboards as well and add those into the back, um, hiding behind a little sign there too. So I think that this turned out so, so cute. I really, really love the farmhouse theme. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, all the contest rules and the guidelines are going to be listed in the description box below. This giveaway is internationally available. Remember that you must subscribe, like, and comment to be eligible to enter the giveaway. Since this is gift basket five of seven, I do have two more um, coming out hopefully very quickly. But uh, since this week has been going on, uh, the turnaround time for the last two videos to enter the giveaway is going to be uh, probably between like 24 or 48 hours just because I want to be able to ship these. So make sure that if you would like to enter the giveaway for uh, the sixth or seventh DIY gift basket that you have your notification bell turned on. That way you will know as soon as the video gets uploaded and you will have more time to enter the giveaway. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you guys did, um, be sure to enter the giveaway and give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, and <laughs> as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!